you clicked on this video because you've obviously seen the news going around about CapCut getting banned in a lot of countries, especially in Europe, and you are getting concerned if you are going to miss out on your favorite editing tool. We are going to talk about everything you need to know, and I'm going to keep the best part for the end because trust me, you are going to enjoy the news, the very good news I have for you. So make sure you watch this video to the end so that you don't miss any part. Let's get straight right to it. So where did all this start from? Yes, it started from the fact that countries feel the Chinese government is actually using TikTok. Yes, you're wondering why am I talking about TikTok in CapCut video, right? Now let me explain. TikTok is owned by the same company that also owns CapCut, which we are, we have the problem at the moment. So currently in the US, they are trying to pass a law to block TikTok in the US. And the reason they are trying to do that, you're going to see it on the screen right about now. In the case of TikTok, US legislators fear that ByteDance could be secretly controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. The company has denied the allegation that is shared sensitive data with the Chinese government. So yes, Byte, ByteDance have come out to say we don't share information with the Chinese government. We are an independent company, but still governments in Europe don't still believe this fact. So they are still trying to pass laws that could be in place in as little as four months from now, which will stop CapCut working in countries like the US and some other European countries. Now, the question is, who is by dance? Byte Dance Limited is a Chinese internet technology company with headquarters in Beijing and they own so many tools and two of their most popular tool is TikTok, which they want to ban in the US as we speak, and CapCut Mobile, CapCut PC, CapCut Desktop, CapCut Online. So the truth is if they ban TikTok, all its other family companies will go down with it. But you need to stick to the end because I'm going to tell you the good news and you're going to love this good news. So now a few Chinese companies or China or whatever they are at this point are trying to get information from your country. They are spying on their country and they don't want that to happen. So they are trying to ban all companies they feel are trying to spy on them and it's not working fine for them. So what should you do if this finally happens? And yeah, this is where I want to go to my screen and show you something unique. So I'm going to open my browser. I'm going to take you to the back end of my channel. I'm going to show you why you don't need to bother about any ban from your country when it comes to CapCut. And yes, the good news is you can still use CapCut anytime, any day. And I'm going to show you with proof why I said so. Remember, I told you. CapCut is already banned in China. So I'm going to take you to my demography at the back end of my channel and I'm going to show you something that would give you a lot of joy and to make you understand you don't need to bother yourself about any possible ban. And yes, thank you, my current subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. You guys have been amazing. You guys have grown my channel in two months of just starting it. I'm close to 800 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. I just want to say thank you. So back to the video. Let me show you my, what my audience look like and I'll tell you why I'm showing you this. Okay. So now I'm just going to scroll down and show you something unique. Looking at my audience, you see my top 
country is the United States, which is the current consign right now. So all my wonderful viewers from the United States are worried about cap cuts. There's nothing to be worried about, and I'm going to explain that. So now, second, we have China, I'm sorry, India, third, United Kingdom, Canada, and the Philippines. Now look at India. My viewers from India still use cap cuts fluently without any issue. And why is that possible? Let's talk about it. So the solution to bypass any ban if it comes to your country is to use VPN. Okay, so there are a lot of VPNs out there and I'm going to be making a separate video about it if it finally happens that TikTok is banned in the US and you can't access CapCut also. There are good VPN out there you can use and it's going to help you bypass all this problem. You're not going to have this problem you see and you can use you can use cap cut 100 the way you usually use it the only difference is that you have to start using it with a vpn which is good in both ways because now whatever you do online is protected and you can be tracked for anything and you can't be scammed in the process so there's nothing to worry about i just said let me put this out here now because so many people are worried and so many people are talking about learning other video editing app you don't need to if you don't need to because CapCut will be here to stay. That is the most important information I'm giving you. So that's why I showed you the bucket of my con of my YouTube channel. You can see Indian is number two and they still use CapCut very well with VPN and it works flawlessly. So there's nothing to be scared about. We are going to be making more CapCut videos and make sure you have subscribed to my channel if you've not done that already. And we're going to keep on doing this. And trust me, CapCut is going to be one of the best editing software out there. And we are going to keep making tutorials for you so that you become a better video editor for yourself. Thanks for watching this one. I will see you on the next one. Stay blessed.